Hi there guys and welcome back to yet another video. Now, last time we looked at one of the most difficult A-level questions and this time we're going to take a look at possibly one of the most difficult GCSE maths questions. Now, this question, it's nothing necessarily difficult once you know what to do, but it's more in the wording of the question. Just before we get into the video, please do hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that little bell. That will let you know when I've uploaded a new video. Also, follow me over on Instagram. I post on there quite a lot. So without any further ado, let's have a look at the question. So here is the question. Let's have a read. The diagram shows a solid metal cylinder. The cylinder has base radius 2x and height 9x. The cylinder is melted down and made into a sphere of radius r. Find an expression for r in terms of x. Now, the bit that might sort of throw most people is this sentence here. The cylinder is melted down and made into a sphere of radius r. Now, this isn't any terminology you've come across at all in your GCSE maths course, I would assume. But what does this actually mean? Well, this means if we squash the actual cylinder and squash it in such a way that we end up with a sphere. Now, the key observation here is that when we do this, we're going to get the same volume no matter what. So no matter how you rotate or transform, as long as you're just stretching and not actually ripping any holes in it, the volumes are going to be the same. So the volumes remain the same when it's melted, whatever this means. Okay, so once it's melted down and made into a sphere, the volumes are the same. So now it just becomes a bit of a formula problem. We know what the volume of a cylinder is. Well, that's just the area of this cross section times the height. So volume of cylinder. So it's pi r squared times h. So in this case, the radius is 2x, so it's pi 2x squared times h, which is 9x. Maybe I'll put that in there. So what does this give us? So it's pi times 4x squared times 9x. And this is equal to 4 times 9 is 36. So it's 36 x cubed pi. Okay, or 36 pi x cubed. Now remember what we said up here. The volumes remain the same when it's melted down. So in other words, whatever we find to be the volume of the sphere, it's going to be the same thing as this. So what's the, what's the volume of an arbitrary sphere of radius r? So I'll write that, radius r. Well, that's just 4 thirds of pi r cubed. And that's a very well-known formula. It can be proved using calculus. Um, and maybe, if you're interested, I could do a video on that. So where do we go from here? We want to find r, which means we need to set these two equal and rearrange. So I'd probably, in the exam, I'd probably say volumes are equal. So therefore, 36 pi x cubed equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. OK, you can see the pi's are going to cancel. And what are we going to get then? So we'll times by 3 first to get 108x cubed equals 4r cubed. Then divide by 4 to get 27x cubed equals r cubed. And then we'll take the cube root. So we're going to get the cube root of all of this, 27x cubed equals r. And so r equals 
3x. Cube root of 27 is 3. Cube root of x cubed is 3. So this is our final answer. So the radius of the sphere is 3x. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a really nice problem and it gets you thinking about what's going to actually happen if we start twisting and stretching shapes. Again, please do leave that like button. Leave any comments if you have any. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps me out. Have a lovely day. See you next time. Bye-bye.